our next guest from hit Broadway productions like Waitress, West Side Story, and his Tony and Grammy nominated performance in Newsies. Well, that's one of my favorites. Now he's returning to the stage in the off-Broadway hit revival of the Alan Menken and Howard Ashman musical Little Shop of Horrors. Put your hands together for Jeremy Jordan. Everybody. Hey. Good, good to see you. So you were part of the show back in 2021. Now you're back playing yeah, my yeah, favorite we, character, uh, Seymour. We brought it back after the long, like, year and a half break that Broadway had, and um, we brought it back with with a lot of fun and vigor. vigor and I, they asked me to come back. Um, and so now you're back. And now I'm back. So what's it been like for you now that you're what two weeks in? Uh, three. This is this will be my fourth week. Mm -hmm. Starting today, um, it's it's been really great. It's kicking my butt, but it's okay. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm basically spent two hours shouting at a at manning at man eating plant. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun to kind of revisit this old character that mm -hmm. I sort of really grown to love. And I've loved. And you were telling me that you loved the movie. Oh um, yeah, since grew I was up a watching. Kid. It, yeah. So it's um, it's a really it's a really fun show, and it's funny and. It, you get to sing, and it's it's just really a, it's kind of one of those perfectly crafted shows. It's like there's no dead space. It's just like yeah. all clicks. There's mm -hmm. a lot of laughs. It's also kind of weird. It's like you know, yeah. <laughs> it's super weird. It's like you know, it's it's a horror show, but it's really not. It's it's like a, it's it's really good for for everybody. There's like something that everybody can take from it. So I got to see the show this weekend. Yeah. Uh, you have a very specific kind of voice. I was curious yeah. to see what your voice sounded like in real life because Well, the that voice... is my real voice. This is just <laughs> me putting it on for the camera. So, you know. Gotta... How, how did you come up with that voice for Seymour? I went through a lot of renditions because, you know, the show takes place on Skid Row, which is essentially like, you know, the not... The, the, the nasty part of town, mm -hmm. kind of New York, so a lot of people have. So I started out with like a little bit of a New York accent, but then people said I sounded like I was back in Newsies. I said, well, <laughs> let's not do Scrap that. that one, right? <laughs> and then I realized that he, my character Seymour is like a little kid kind of that never grew up, even mm -hmm. though he's a fully grown man. And so I um, sort of decided what would that sound like? And he just kind of sounds like this all the time. And he just, <laughs> he never really grew up. <laughs> Ah, well, you look so radiant today. <laughs> it's like, and then, and then, throughout the course of the show, he's forced to like deal with death, mm -hmm. and you know, love, and all these other things, and and he, you can feel his voice changing. So it gave me somewhere to go. It was really kind of cool. Talk about talent. He just went straight into yeah, character. Yeah, I was yeah. Really well, impressed. Listen, it's, it takes a minute. It, it's it's <laughs> it's stuck in there like it's, it's drilled. It's been four weeks. <laughs> So I want to ask you about your name because okay. it literally sounds like a movie star name, perfect for an actor and performer. You can thank my mother. <laughs> thank you, mom. Good, good choice. Um, ever been confused with someone else? Ever think of changing it? I mean, yeah. it sounds perfect for an actor. Well, okay. Well, you set me up. No, I for this for this one. Now, there's there's two. There were, well, when I first started out uh, a few years ago, there were um, two other Jeremy Jordans and. Neither of their real names, by the way. One was like a, a, a pop star and had also done a couple of movies back in the 90s. And, um, and the other was a um, adult film star. Uh, and, that's so funny. <laughs> oh. I've also been, there's another Jennifer Ashton that's in an adult film it just, star. It's, this it's, might be my last day. If it, <laughs> honestly, like if, if a name rolls off the tongue that Dr. well, Jesus, you know. Me Jeremy, too. I only oh have the courage goodness. to say that because you just said it for yourself. The difference is you have a job. I might not have a job <laughs> after tomorrow. Listen, you know. We're um, always just... You'll be fine, Doctor. <laughs> You'll be fine. They okay, can edit. So, they can edit. So adult film star. Yeah, and so I, uh, and so I, my, my sort of goal was to take back the Googling of my own name, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the very first job that I ever did was this show called Little Dog Laugh, which is a very risque play, and there's some nudity, there's some adult content, and uh, the guy that was playing opposite me... I was nobody at this point, and so he, when he found out I was playing it, he Googled me, and he's like, oh, they got an actual <laughs> adult film star to come play opposite of me because, you know, it was a very, it was that kind of show. Was <laughs> and like, then I show up and I'm going. like, it's just me. Getting good. <laughs> so you kept it. I kept it, yeah. I thought about changing it, but my middle name is Michael, so I'm not going to go by Michael Jordan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was already work. one of those. It would have it would have been tricky. Oh, that's All fine. Right. Well, Jeremy so Jordan, thank you very much. We appreciate it. <laughs> and the best pleasure. of luck to you as well. 
Little Shop of Horrors is playing now at the West Side Theater right here in New York City. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.